Welcome to SnapLogic Flows. Flows is specifically built for business users to more easily automate business processes. Flows greatly simplifies integrations for business users while allowing IT to maintain control of security and governance. When you log into Flows for the first time, uh, you're taken to the home page, which is where you can see the flows that you have recently edited, as well as your recent executions. If you are logging in for the first time, uh, you will see a couple of sample flows that will help aid you to start building your own flows. To build a new flow, you click on the new flow button in the top right hand corner. I'm going to build a simple flow that will read leads from Salesforce and send a notification to Slack um, once it detects that there are new leads present. When you click on the button, you are asked to fill in the details. So demo flow. 77 and choose the project space that you would like to save this in. So I'll go ahead and change that. With that, you are now guided through the interface to be able to build your flow. On the left hand side here, uh, you are presented with a preview, which shows you the various steps within the flow. In the middle section here is where all the building takes place, all the configuration. And then on the right hand side, we have the support guide which has contextual information for the user. I'm going to start off by selecting Salesforce. I can then choose from a list of pre-configured accounts or I can choose to add an additional account. For this example, I'm going to choose one that I've already created. You're then presented with the most common objects within Salesforce, such as accounts, contacts, and leads. Uh, in this example here, we're going to choose leads. And then once I've selected that, you can either choose to filter the incoming data or just save and continue to be guided to the next step. I'm going to go ahead and filter the data because I just want to get the leads that were added right before I shot this video. So the way that I will do that is I will come into what is called the data wrangler. I will then choose the column I want. So in this case, I want created, uh, created date. And then a nice easy way to be able to um, choose the date. So I want anything greater than today. So 2021-08-10. I simply hit apply filter. I will go ahead and query the data and filter the data and actually give me a preview of those uh, results. So you can see that there are now eight records. So let's go ahead and save and return to the flow. At this point, I've configured everything I want in my start step. So I hit save and continue. Since I want to send notifications to Slack, I'm going to go ahead and click on connect an app. I then choose uh, Slack as my target. And I then go through the steps to configure Slack. So I'm going to choose a pre-existing account. And then I fill in the specific details for Slack. So it's a private channel and I uh, choose flow3-demo is the name of the Slack channel. And then I'm going to create the message. And you can see this is very easy to be able to create some uh, natural language as well as choose data from the incoming source. So let's just compose our message. We say testing, and then I want to say first name. So then I'm then shown the column from the input, com input document and the data type. In this case, it's a string. So first name, and then let's do last name. And then also from, and then let's do the lead source. At that point, I've composed my message. So go ahead and hit save and continue. If I go ahead and manually run this and then jump over to Slack, what, you, what you'll see is the messages getting posted to Slack. I hope this video shows you how easy it is to automate business processes without writing a single line of code. Thank you for watching this video.